with us since they were very small. They were little just like Angada right there is. They've lived with us since they were tiny. Those different wildlife, incredible opportunities to uh, meet them up close. bread from a savage. Hello everyone and welcome to Chimp Dinner Live. My name is Tila, I'm Doc's daughter, and today we're gonna to be doing some behind the scenes of how much effort it actually takes to make Chimp Dinner Live happen. The chimps are just like family members to us. We go through great lengths to make sure they have high quality food and fun stuff too. So today we're gonna to be making a couple new items that they've never had before. We're gonna start off with this amazing fruit tart. This is homemade tart that we have. The dough already. We're gonna go ahead and prepare that. Be going in these cute little tart containers. We'll bake those. Once they're ready and cooled, we'll be putting in some of this delicious pastry cream top it off with some of their favorite fruits as well as a beautiful glaze to get it that nice shine before we get started special assistant Hello. we have my son Aiden here he's gonna be helping us today to prepare everything and let's go first we're gonna take these and we're gonna press them I'm gonna place them and then Aiden's gonna press them we already got our hands all washed okay perfect so these right here obviously the bottoms and then we're gonna get a knife and we're gonna cut out thin layers that's gonna be the ring that goes around the top. They're gonna turn out really cute. I have not made these before, but I watched a YouTube video and I think it's gonna be pretty cool. It's okay if it doesn't fit perfect, I'm gonna make some little pieces to go in. So just kind of loop it around the top right there and then just gently press it so it all molds together. The butter and everything is gonna make it stick together really well once we put it in the oven. And then before we put them in the oven, they actually go in the freezer briefly as well. The dough is not a super sweet dough. So the tart dough is gonna be a little bit more like a crumbly cookie, but again, not very sweet, but all that fruit and then that pastry cream is what's gonna add the sweetness that the chimps love. It's funny because a lot of people think that monkeys love bananas, which some of them do, but Bali and Sagreev are actually not big fans of bananas. And so if you see that a lot of times we do admit them where people just assume, of course they love bananas. They don't. Every once in a while, they'll eat them, or maybe if they're inside of something, but they're really not their favorite. Berries are actually their favorite. Okay, these are ready. So we're gonna just go ahead and kind of get them out. And you wanna try to twist those for me? Yeah. And put them on the baking sheet. All right, so the tarts are ready. They baked for about 15 minutes. We just let them cool off and now we're gonna pop them out and look at that, perfect little tarts. They look so cute. Now they get to go, pastry cream goes inside. Yay. You wanna scoop a couple scoops of that in there? Yep. All right, but before we get started with the pastry cream, special guest on the way. I didn't know you guys were cooking. Mr. Yeah, I'm back. Oh, oh, no, I love you. you. Our <laughs> little, sweetest boy in the world. He's gotta give everyone a hug. Ooh. Oh, okay, now what? What's going on here? Oh, I'm gonna, look at all the good stuff that's happening oh, here. Look, look at what she's got. Hello. Look, what she have? He's like, oh, I want hugs. hugs. I just need hugs and hugs and hugs. You're such a sweet boy. You see what she's got? What's that? Oh. We're gonna put this in here. You wanna try it? Yeah, I'm gonna help, I think. You can try it. Oh, oh, no, no, no. Don't break anything. What's that? Mmm. Is it good? No. Ooh, I think Angada approves of the pastry cream. So everyone asks, why does Angada never eat? He eats. He just doesn't eat when the big boys are around because he's busy showing off. Yeah. He says, I'm gonna eat this whole bowl. <laughs> I love it, love it, it's love so it. good. You love it? You see it's in here? It's gonna be in here too. And she's gonna put some of this in. Look, look. Mmm. <laughs> yeah, I got show off. Oh, delicious I bet yeah you know what this is one of my favorite desserts of all time hello buddy hello <laughs> yes yeah. oh, you're just so cute. he says I just want the cream inside yeah I love the cream you want to try it with the cookie you want to try the cream yeah. and the cookie oh, oh just the cream just making the happy noise do you hear it yes this stuff's so good yes 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 yes, yes. you like it too 
<laughs> yeah, I think that we picked a winner, guys. I got to totally approve of the tarts. Oh, yeah, big bite, big bite. Oh, big oh bite. Yeah. He says, thank you, thank you so much. You guys did a really good job. All right, Angara, we'll let them finish. This bomb this is delicious. Yeah. Thank you so much. We'll see, see you later. tonight. See you later, buddy. <laughs> As you guys can see, it's really hard to cook with the chimp, but that was really fun. And tonight, Angara will get to try everything again, and we hope he loves it just as much as he did just now. Just make them really cute with some different fruits inside. All right, Mom, I think they're all done. I think so, too. So, all right, we're gonna put these in the fridge for later, and then we'll be moving on to our next item. All right, guys, this right here is our purple yam or taro Ooh. boba base. We made this earlier today. It is quite a long process, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some soy milk to it for the bowl. They do love their organic soy milk. So we're gonna add that in, stir it up. And then that right there is just gonna get all blended together. And now we're gonna move on to our boba. We have our black pearl boba right over here. These right here are the quick boba. So they're actually just gonna cook for about five minutes. I like to cook mine just a little bit longer. That way they're a little bit softer and less chewy. And last but not least, for Chimp Dinner Live tonight, we're gonna be making chili bowls. These right here are some bread rounds that we carved out, and then we're gonna start laying them in with all these yummy, delicious items. I know it's a little weird. Some people love pasta with their chili, and the chimps love pasta. Next, we're gonna put some rice, chili in, corn in here, lettuce on top, tomatoes, oh, some cheese, cheese, raw onions, cilantro to make it fancy, homemade cornbread as well. That right there, is ready for some chimps. We have all of our food ready, our delicious chili bowls, our boba tea, and our tarts. So only thing left is three, two, one, chimp dinner live. We are with these fabulous great apes and it is time as we're going to be sorry for chimp dinner live. Yeah, Sakriva looks a little tired, but he's ready to go a little bit. Huh, you ready? Are you ready, big dog? Angara's ready to go. Yeah, 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 yeah. We got something fabulous coming in. Something fabulous. We got a beautiful bread bowl. Let's give that to, let's give that to your brother. This one this one can be yours. Yeah, look at that food. They go That is some cornbread. fabulous stuff. They want the cornbread first. Yeah, they got cornbread. Has Volley finished his cornbread already? No, they're the both just one. holding on to that. I think it looks like a piece of cake. So they think that it's uh, particularly tasty. This is some fancy stuff. This is stuff that Tila come my daughter made. <laughs> Oh, he says, I'm not having that. I'm having cornbread. I'm not interested at the moment. Jeez. Cornbread's got him spoiled. Sugriva, it's better than you think. I think it is. I think you got to try it to know what's coming. That is good stuff. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. That looks like a mighty fine bunch of food right there. Sugriva, I'm sure does miss Cody, but I can tell you, Sugriva has been hanging out with me. He is this dog piled on my neck last night, staying right with me, hanging in there, having the time of his life. Got up this morning, had himself a fabulous big bath, and washed and played in the bath like a happy child right there. He thought that was all the best stuff. All oh, the best the things. <laughs> but, oh yeah, he's rejecting tomatoes. He's playing around. He, he's pretending he has spoon skills that are seriously lacking tonight. This needs a knife. And the finger, it was pretty this, good. This about needs a knife. Look, if you could chomp this, could you just stick some, ch yeah, show me them big, show me those giant size 22 teeth you got there. If, if you chomp it, chomp it. Use a oh. big chip mouth. Yeah, look at that mouth go, yeah. yeah. That's how it's Boy. done, son. Get a chomp a -roo on there. We got a, some fabulous hungry kids. We have Bali the chimp there at the end. That is the old man of the group here. Next to him, of course, is baby Tara with their mama, Here, China. And then I've got Sue Griva, the biggest of the kids, but he's still a little bit younger than Volley. They're 10-year-old boys. Baby Tara's coming in for the steal. And then we got the man who's out of control, <laughs> the man without a plan, the man who we can barely stand. We got Angada the chimp. He's crazy. He's lazy. He's a little bit hazy. I don't know. He's slapping me like he's a savage. He pulls so hard. Moksha could hardly pull as hard as he's pulling right now. He is a savage. One finger shall be removed. Let go. Ugh. That is just crazy stuff. The power of a chimp is phenomenal. Is that spaghetti? Yes, it is. Yes, it's spaghetti. I thought it was slices of cheese. It's, no, it's, it's spaghetti. Sagriva thinks the same thing. 
It's noodles. Hey, Sagriva, Sagriva, are you really done, son? Oh, you gave you gave up on some tomatoes. How about those? How about those? Get it, get it, get it. Yeah. <laughs> Cold raw tomato. Ah! Stick that in your mouth. Stick that in your mouth, you big old savage. Sagriva believes these are eating now one noodle at a time. It looks like. How about this? How about this bite of wonder? There's some cheese in that bite. There's some corn in that bite. You are being picky, and I think you um, are going to have a hard time. I think you, you, your, your hand feeding that great ape. I'm holding it for him. Oh, man. Get it, get it. Have a chomp. Have a chomp. So I don't need a chomp. You really don't think this is good? Oh, no, my own voice. Oh, no, no. Give me one with You want my food. You don't have to have my food. Yeah. I ate that bread. Mm, like, jumping out. Let me see exactly what you swallowed, Grandpa. Stuff that's in the plate. Mm. You need this bite right here. Molly, on the other hand, has eaten everything except the bread. Nom, 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 nom. Nom, nom, nom. Get it, get it, get it, you great ape. I'm helping you out. Nom, Jesus, nom, man, nom. That is so seriously plain. <laughs> get it, get it. Sabrina, have a bite. Come on now, wild man. I'll dump it out. I don't think you're going to want it dumped out either. <laughs> Do they what? Do they love swimming? Swimming? Yeah, swimming. Volley certainly thinks swimming is great stuff. <laughs> Sagriva likes to come and sit in a pool. He does enjoy sitting in a swimming pool, hanging out, so long as he can stand. He thinks it's fun stuff. He likes the heat of the big warm pool. He likes to clown around with us, but he does not think that he is supposed to free float. Neither does any chimp in the entire world, except Volley. Volley broke the barrier like no <laughs> other chimp. Going? The boys hate the cold just like me. They think that the cold is ridiculous. They want jackets. They want to be in the heat. At 4 o'clock, they start pounding on the exterior doors to get in the Great Ape Castle and hang out and hide there. Um, they always oh like that stuff right there. That is, that's the thing they want to go for. <laughs> Sagriva wants Volley's bread. Volley, Volley can have, can have some of Sagriva's food. There. Since Sagriva's now uh, going to be picky. Sagriva is, is, is a hungry hippo. He eats a lot but he is more picky about food. Chimpanzees should eat fresh fruits, vegetables, grains, nuts, and seeds in their purest and most natural form. Everything that's not that, no chimp or ape at all, including humans, should eat it, right? It's all junk food. <clears throat> that junk food concept is what we all love is that super processed, refined stuff. But ultimately, that's what they eat their big diet of. That's their daytime diet. Here at Chimp Dinner, they get a spoiled dinner. They get funnier stuff, they get these bread bowls, they get cute things, they love the adventure of it. But it doesn't make up for 5% of their diet. 95% is fresh fruits, vegetables, grains, nuts, and seeds. We got a flying hunk of bread from a savage. Look at that, we got Dave's Killer Bread, the greatest stuff. We got organic peanut butter and organic jelly. And these chimpanzees think that that is glorious. They think that is the right stuff that they love to chow on. Doc does not eat steak. That's right there, Glumke. I am uh, not a steak-eating guy. As a child, I had some steaks. I won a steak-eating contest like a madman when I was a child, but not later in life. By the time I was a teenager, man, it was all peace and love and vegetarianism, and uh, I became pretty much a strong advocate of being a vegetarian in 1974 and I really haven't had any meat since. The sandwiches have gone down pretty fast. Folly's going for his last bite. The grief is looking at his like, why is this plate empty? What's happened right here? They don't eat big breakfast. Um, Bali eats a protein shake. Sagriva rarely eats breakfast except fruits. Bali gets a protein shake and then goes into some fruit. Yeah, yeah. Bali loves yogurt in the morning. He gets uh, the little Danimals uh, organic yogurts come in. We've got some fine looking oranges here, Sagriva. You look like you're a little slow. You was, are you ready for an orange? Look at that. Coming to you. Bali the chimp. Coming to you, great ape. Yeah, he's got it down. <laughs> Did he miss it? No, he no, rolled it backwards. Fire fire he's going to throw, throw it. He's going to throw, throw that. Hey, hey, hey. You would not be throwing that, would you? Open that puppy up. Stop, stop, stop. Open this up. Oh, oh China gosh. tries her skills. Let's see if it. I can do it. Sagriva, wow. volley style. Ready? The TV screen. One smack volley style. Get it. Open that up like a great ape and eat it like you're born in the jungle. Come on. We got sissies tonight. Sissy apes that do not want to work for their food. Sagriva's like, what type of savage would eat a cracked orange? I mean, I would only eat one that's been properly peeled. I have you don't want that. You don't want that. You don't want that. It's just, that is garbage. Crap. Oh. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, that is crazy. This is some great flavor. You, you taste that? 
<laughs> what are you gonna do with that? <laughs> I shall set it down on the ground from whence it came. <laughs> but what? Oh, how about that? How about that? That goes good with orange juices. Yes, I do love a hunk of lettuce. Yep. Hey, oh, the butt away. Oh, he gets the butt. Oh, yeah, they love apples, they love oranges, they eat bananas, they chow pears, watermelon's always a favorite, it's always good stuff. I originally grew up on a ranch in Arizona, along the Mexico border, and in California, for those that just asked where I was from. There you go. What do we see right here? Look at this right here, guys. Woo! No, hey, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, yeah, that oh, is beautiful. Frog. That is beautiful. Does a great ape deserve such a thing? I think it does. I think it does. He says, I think I'll take a bite. Here, we'll put it right here for you. Volley chimp. Ooh, look at Volley's go. Oh, they explode. Sagriva didn't know they were loaded. <laughs> How did that happen, Sagriva? Get it, get it, get it. This is Telecom treats that she whipped up. I see you still have a hunk of apple hanging out of your lip. Was that really good? Was that really good fruit tart? Slow Tara down. Likes it. Slow down. We're gonna clean up just a hair. Let's clean up just a little Tara's bit. Tara's eating the stuff that exploded. Yeah. So, Griva, you understand now that these are exploding desserts that <laughs> your uh, aunt Tilakum made. This one's for you. You be a good dog. Have that gentle, gentle. Lean over the table a little. Yeah. How about that? Bali's still working. Yes. Yeah, but he can have it. I mean, well, it's okay. Let him finish. I, I was gonna try oh, to give some to Tara. I guess it's good because then Sugriva won't want to steal it. Because it exploded, Sugriva now is being very careful. Angara is being also very careful. Unless you took that job. Oh, he's being very careful. Oh, he doesn't this, want the berries. This he is just precious. Wants the inside. I want the precious cream from inside. That is good stuff. So round one was a disaster. Round two, Sagriva's got it going on. Kind of he bite. was dainty, he Can cleaned it all up. There was barely anything to even move. Brazil's on there with us again, great stuff. I know we have a big Brazilian group that follow what we do, fabulous stuff. We have a big Brazilian team of guys that come here and actually help us build and help do things. Myrtle Beach has a big Good stable boy. Brazilian uh, population that helps do a lot of the fine contracting and stuff that's happening here. Sagriva so looks like Caesar. I don't know. We thought he looked more like uh, Volley Caesar. Oh, look, he throws things Rocket. again. Sagriva's so ready to roll. Ready to roll. He's like, yes, that looks like the stuff that dreams are made of. And I need it. You're going to go right there to make sure with it. Fabulous bobas in there. Blueberry bobas. Dun, dun, dun. Just a half. Purple yam milk. It looks exotic. Please pass along. I am. It looks exotic. It's got those beautiful blueberry bobas and purple yam milk right there. Little man's gonna try a chunk of it. I know. Take a breath. Take a breath. Oh, you're gonna. You can't breathe. Here it goes. Here it take goes. a breath. Yeah. Good job, buddy. Washington Stand State. Strong. Thanks for coming on. Is it good? Yeah. Decker's World. First time to see Chimp Dinner Live right here with us. <laughs> Oh yeah, look, there's more. Use this, use this, it'll get him. It'll get him, I'll help you. Go, go, go. Yeah, look at you, go, go, go. What the heck was that? It's chewable. The little boba berries are down in the bottom. Get it, get it, get it. Oh, you got some more. Well, stir it up, stir it up, get him, get him. Oh yeah, listen to that sound effect. Oh, he's slurping boba berries. Go, go, go. Oh, when a chimp talks to its food, you know it loves it. I see Portugal out there with us. Cool stuff. So Grima's gonna try and use the straw as a fork, uh, or he's just gonna go for the tip. That's enough. Is Bali still working his? Yes, Tara's eating his too. Oh, Rachel Fontina, thanks for tuning in, love. The big one in the middle don't share. Big one in the middle is Sugriva. He's kind of the Buddha belly of all these big chimpies. He certainly is the big guy, even though Bali on the end is older. Ten-year-old brothers here, some serious chunk stars. Loving us from Minnesota, Decker's world. Yeah, so Grieva's much more imposing. He has way bigger teeth. And these biceps are crazy. They're significantly bigger than mine. He is a big chunk of monk right there. As I finish this off, don't throw the cup. That would be, that would be, that would be see this? Who, who left that? You can clean that up right there. That's what a good chimp would do. Yeah, I thought so. Guys, come meet these chimps coming down. See us at Myrtle Beach Safari. The last one's coming right up. You can see them come to Night Safari. There are 30 big tigers there. There is Bubbles the Elephant, an elegant that beauty that is somebody that is worth meeting. More lettuce. She is an incredible kid. Our beautiful owl comes in and hangs out. A sight to see. 
The eagles fly, the cheetah brothers, King Tut and Amun-Ra are fabulous children as well. So much happens on Myrtle Beach Safari. Running tigers are a huge glass pool with giant swimming wrestling tigers in it. And then the night safari is a great dinner party, kind of the after party after the big flashy show. It's definitely something worth coming to visit. All that goes to Sport Rare Species Fund. Right now on the ground, our rangers are being fortified with all new equipment. We just dropped off to our rangers a whole new series of night vision cameras, nighttime binoculars, camera traps, and other equipment. Last year, 13 rhinos were poached. We came in and set a whole series of night vision equipment in, super stealth quality stuff, and that has stopped the rhino poaching. 13 rhinos down this year, zero rhinos down. Multiple arrests made, catching these people that are working just in the night. Thanks for tuning in with us, guys. We went, glad you came here and saw the great ape dinner that we had right here this evening. They had a great time. They got some great variety. Thank you so much for tuning in, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already, and hit that little bell notification so you get notified every time a video gets loaded. And as always, we'll see you in the next one. This is they were very small. They were little just like Angada right there is. They've lived with us since they were tiny. Those different wildlife, incredible opportunities to uh, meet them up close.